Live 10 now has a split stereo pan mode, which means that um, you can actually pan the left and right individually in, a, uh, in the mixer channel. Um, so if you just right click here, you get the split stereo pan mode uh, selector here, and I select it. And now I can pan individually the left and right sides of my stereo signal, which gives me a lot more flexibility and placing any sort of sound in the in the, um, the panorama. This obviously also works in the arrangement view. So I just go over here and right click, and then I have the same two uh, selectors here, two slider indicators here. To illustrate the difference in stereo panning, I put in this channel a snare and here a hi-hat, and they're both panned to the center. Um, essentially monophonic sounds for the most part. But if I pan the snare to the left, you can hear it in the left, and the hi-hat to the right, you can hear it into the right, because they're both being routed into this group channel here. And now I can pan the group channel to the left or to the right, and when I pan to the right here, you're only hearing the hi-hat, and here to the left, only the snare. The same thing holds true with the master channel here. So we're not really getting a stereo, it's a balance control. And this is the, uh, this has always been available in live, but no other panning choice. But now with Live 10, we can go to the split stereo pan mode. And you can hear that when I push this all the way to the right, we're hearing both snare and hi-hat on the right. The other way around, we can hear them both on the left. And this allows me also to make some fine adjustments in the panoramic field. So I could just get a, uh, an angle of that field, a kind of a slice of it, where I can place my instruments, which is much more realistic and, and yeah, makes things uh, a lot better to work with.